From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. On April 12, 1961, the Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human being in space. He was strapped into a Vostok 1 spacecraft and spent 108 terrifying minutes in orbit. Gagarin's capsule sat atop a modified 101-foot-tall ballistic missile called the R-7. And as he returned to Earth, the cosmonaut had to eject 23,000 feet above the ground. Despite these enormous risks, he survived. Less than one month later, U.S. astronaut Alan Shepard followed in his footsteps. As the Cold War progressed, both the Soviet and U.S. governments launched space flights, racing to achieve ascendancy in this new frontier. Yet despite all the events that followed afterward, the Soviets clearly held one of history's most important achievements. This record is undisputed, except for one troubling detail. Some people believe that while the first man in space was indeed Soviet, he wasn't Yuri Gagarin. Yuri, they believe, was just the first man to survive the trip. Here's where it gets crazy. What if the Soviet government launched several unsuccessful space flights before and after the Gagarin flight? Rumors of lost cosmonauts have been around since at least 1965, usually with a few key elements in common. Here's the gist. Two Italian brothers, Achilles and Giovanni Giudica Cordiglia, build a listening station in the 1950s. They claim that before and after Gagarin's mission, they caught transmissions from less successful flights. They believe that several of these indicated the death of cosmonauts or, at the very least, missions gone awry. For example, in one recording they claim to hear an unnamed cosmonaut suffocating. In another, a female cosmonaut's voice as her malfunctioning craft burns up upon re-entry. Their recordings and their interpretations of these recordings are often considered primary evidence that other cosmonauts in the Soviet space program really did die, in secret, as the nation rushed toward the moon. There's another element to the story. The Soviet government attempted to erase some cosmonauts from their records, most notably by altering photographs and rewriting official accounts of the program. The third element of this theory dwells on the intensely secretive nature of the Soviet and U.S. governments during the Cold War. For those who believe the Soviet government really did cover up multiple failed space missions, the famous secrecy of the USSR fits. With this in mind, it's tempting to assume that at least some of these rumors may be true. And, according to Soviet space program historian James Oberg, some parts of the tale are true. Members of the Soviet space program were erased from photographs, several in fact. But none of these cosmonauts were actually lost in space. Instead, they fell out of favor, were injured, or met with other unfortunate circumstances. In his book, Uncovering Soviet Disasters, Oberg tenaciously searches for any truth to these missing cosmonaut rumors. Although he debunks a great deal of the more outlandish claims, he also presents evidence that the Soviet government did expunge some would-be cosmonauts from official records. This information leaves the lost cosmonaut theory in an intriguing position. While it's unlikely that these missing cosmonauts we know of were actually lost in space missions, the Soviets did attempt to lose them in another sense, by erasing them from history. The Cold War race to space and, ultimately, the moon was fraught with secrecy. While the lost cosmonaut theory itself may not hold up to scrutiny, one thing's for sure. When it comes to Soviet Russia, there's plenty of stuff they don't want you to know. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Corolla what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any.